Hi, I'm John Holloway with Not Hot Custom Training Academy. You know, usually I come to you and I talk about guns or training or competition or traveling with a gun, but today I'm going to talk about something that, you know, I think a lot of people are into, but I just know that I'm generally not a knife guy. But being with Nighthawk Custom Training Academy, we do a lot of work with Nighthawk Custom Firearms as well. And so occasionally when I'm over there, I'll be meeting with the uh, management of the company and they'll have stuff laid out on the table and they'll say, hey John, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And the last time I was over there, I was looking through some stuff and I actually found a, a box. And in the box were two things that were really cool that typically I don't really go in for, but I wanted to talk about today because I just thought, you know, these things kind of had turned into orphans and I wanted to try to save two orphans. So let's talk about them today. What I found in the box were two really cool knives. And I'm not a knife guy, but I want to talk about these knives really quick. The first thing is, these knives are specially made by Ken Murr. And these knives are one of a kind, custom made knives. These aren't stamped out in Japan. These are made in Arkansas. And they're made by a real knife maker. These have a great point on them. And the way that this has come down, you can use it for a lot of different things. You can use it for skinning. but what I thought was really cool about this knife that stood out to me was first of all the finish on this knife. It's nitrite finish just like the Nighthawk guns which means this isn't paint this is going to wear like iron and when it does show its wear it's going to show its wear in a way that you can really appreciate that this is a tool and that it's been used. I believe so much in nitrite that my carry gun is nitrite. And as you can see from my carry gun here you know it's got wear on it because it's an honest used tool. And you know, as it begins to wear, you see kind of that look to it that says, hey, you know, this is a tool that's been used, it's meant to be carried. These knives have the same exact finish on them. The second thing that caught my eye about this knife is this. There's two different ways that you can grab the knife. You can grab it here on the handle, you can run forward with it here, and there's some serr serrations on the top of this blade that allow you to steady your thumb with it. So you can use this knife in a couple of different positions. Here's something else that made this knife unique. It's got a glass breaker on the end of it. But the cool part is, is it's still got this little paracord lanyard off of it, but the lanyard is not in the way of the glass breaker. So actually, it's still very truly functional. Now, the high coolness factor comes in. You got a great tool, you got a finish to last a lifetime, but check this out. Two great finishes with this. Both of these are done by Hillbilly223. And if you're looking on Facebook right now, that's Hillbilly223 all spelled out. Not the numbers, but spell out the words and it'll take you to his site. And Boyd has done some great work here and he's got two of what he considers to be his urban camo patterns. Both of them have the Nighthawk logo on them, but two great looking knives. You can get this in either brown or green camouflage, either way. Let me flip this over and I want to show you something here about the sheaths. Both of these use a Blade Tech tech lock system, which means that you can open this up, you can adjust it for the size of belt that you're wearing, then you can lock it and you can lock it here. So it's easy to open and yet it securely locks. But the cool part is, is you can carry this knife in either one of these positions. So if you wanted to carry it more as a side knife that you could get to quickly, or if you wanted to carry it up front, Put it by your belt buckle, lock it this way, carry the knife sideways here, if you would. Carry the knife sideways. It makes for a quick access. You just simply pull your shirt up, grab the knife, and you've got quick access to your knife. These knives are available on Nighthawk's webpage. Now, they've named this knife something goofy. It's like a number and a letter, and I was like, okay, fine, great. At least I can sell them. But here's what I'd like for you to do. If you will take the time to make a suggestion on Facebook what these knives will be called. Now, here's the kicker. I want you to make it on Hillbilly223's Facebook page. If we select your entry for naming these knives, you will get a little gift basket from Nighthawk. No, you will not get one of these knives. These things are $300 retail. And yes, I know that's expensive, but it's probably the last knife you'd ever have to buy. It's worth it. So, write in with your suggestions. Let's hear what we're going to call this. John Hottaway, Not Hot Custom, out. <laughs>